So we're going to solve this limits of functions. So if, if f of x is equal to x and g of x is equal to 2x, so calculate the limit of the squared of f of x plus g of x all over f, f of x times g of x as x approaches to negative 5. So what we're going to do, of course, we're going to apply uh, the limit theorem. So this will be, okay, so we have the limit. Uh, f of x is equal to x. So ilagay na natin dito. The value of f, uh, we're going to substitute lang yung value ng f of x. So maging x squared, okay, plus, okay, g of x is 2x. Okay, and then, okay, ulitin natin. So, we have the limit of uh, x squared as x approaches to negative 5 plus the limit of 2x as x approaches to negative 5. All over, okay, so we have here, no? All over the limit of, so f of x is x, okay? So the limit of x, okay, x as x approaches to negative 5 times, so the limit of 2x as x approaches to negative 5. Okay, so after that, okay, so we all know that this is x squared, okay, so the limit of x squared, kung ano yung value dito, that will be the value of c, so negative 5, tama, so magiging negative 5 squared, kasi may squared siya, plus, okay, since 2, lagay natin sa unahan, and then the limit of x as x approaches to negative 5 is still negative 5. Okay? So that is negative 5. All over. Okay, so the limit of x, so this is negative 5. Times, okay, this is 2 times negative 10. Kasi yung 2 mapupunta sa unahan. So, at negative 5 na lang. So, magiging negative 10. Okay. Then, after that, okay, we're going to evaluate. So, negative 5 squared is 25. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Okay. After that, negative 5 times negative 10 is uh, positive 50. So, pwede natin ito. 25 minus 10 is 15 over 50. Pwede natin to lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator sa 5. So, 15 divide 5, that is 3. Okay? And 50 divide 5, that is 10. So, the answer here is 3 over 10. Okay? Ito yung sagot natin. 3 over 10.